What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. It is beautiful here in Indiana, as you can tell. Um, sun's casting a shadow. Um, we're gonna go down to the shop. We're gonna do a little maintenance on the 98. Just check the oil, check all the fluids pretty much. Just make sure everything's good after the rebuild. So uh, that being said, I'm gonna jump in, get it fired up, and we are literally just going right down there to that barn. So it's literally like 50 yards, 100 yards at most. So I'm gonna hop in and I'll meet you guys down there. Well guys, we're down here. Told you it wouldn't take that long. Um, like I said, I'm gonna check fluids and everything. Just kind of a random vlog type day. Um, didn't do much besides cut grass. Went to town and got lumber for a, I guess like a deer blind slash tree stand I plan plan on building. Um, Cause I wanna do some film hunts this year. Kinda change it up a little bit from the normal truck stuff. If you guys would like um, for me to upload some of those, just let me know in the comments. Um, that's what all this is about. There's my sister's dog that's don't know where she came from but uh gonna try and get some film times and stuff so just let me know what you guys think of those um and yeah i'm gonna check some of the fluids here i'm gonna let it cool off a little bit because those headers get pretty warm just uh moving down the road a little bit so that being said i am going to grab some uh tools real quick and i'll bring you guys back once i get everything together okay guys i'm gonna put the rest of this uh windshield washer fluid in there gonna top it off with some antifreeze i just put some water in it so i'm gonna go ahead and top those off uh starting out with the fluid So I just topped them off. Um, <clears throat> so you can see washer fluids fit all the way up and a freeze is about there. So I'm gonna go add a little bit more water to it just to get the right mixture. And then I'm going to uh, check the oil if it needs to be uh, added or anything. I'm probably gonna throw some uh, Lucas oil, oil additive in there just to thicken it up just a little bit. Um, coat it a little bit more. I love running that stuff in my truck just to uh, uh, coat the uh, inside of the engine and uh, add a little extra protection of lubrication. So I'm gonna go grab some more water and you guys will see me shortly. Okay, I got some more water. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it into the radiator here. Just like that. And I don't know what you guys will be able to see down in there, but you can kind of see it. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the cap on it. Um, I try and check my stuff every every oil change, um, just make sure everything's good. So now I'm going to go ahead and check the oil, um, pull the dipstick out, wipe it off with a rag, um, throw the dipstick back in, pull it back out, see where it is. Uh, a lot of people don't realize, um, if you can see it here, those dots right there on the dips, dipstick indicate a quart. So if you're one dot low, you're one quart low on oil. If you're two dots, you're two quarts and so on. So I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm gonna grab a rag, get it wiped off, check it and uh, see what we have. 
okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the dipstick out. Sorry if there's wind noise, I got the fan going, so. I'm gonna try and get this as best as I can on camera for you guys, so. I don't know how well you'd be able to see that. But uh, you can see where the dot is filled and then this one here isn't. So I'm a little low. It's right in between the two, so I'm gonna add just a little bit um, and then I'll check it again later. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off, slide it back in, um, add a little oil. I'll check it again just to make sure I'm good and I might throw a little bit of that Lucas Oil oil stabilizer in there that I was talking about just to help in, uh, lubri lubricate everything. Here's that Lucas Oil oil stabilizer that I was telling you guys I use. Um, I have high mileage just because, well, before my truck blew up, I had like 200, almost 50,000 miles on it. So, I mean, there's a little bit left in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that I have a fully rebuilt motor, I can switch back just to the normal Lucas Oil uh, oil stabilizer. Lucas Oil makes a lot of good products. They make fuel additive or fuel treatment. They make the oil stabilizer. They make transmission uh stabilizer just a bunch of different stuff so uh if you guys are in the market for something like that be sure to check out lucas oil um we use a lot of their products and our farm equipment and stuff as well uh just to help the engines last a little longer but uh i just added some um, i'm gonna let it kind of sit for probably five minutes so it can get down in there um, i'll run the truck for probably five minutes to kind of help lubricate everything and then i'll check the oil again um, i have a small leak i'm not sure where it's coming from uh, you can see there's a small puddle there. So I'm going to crawl underneath real quick, see if I can see anything. It might just be the oil pan um, that's not tightened all the way down. Uh, it could be just a simple bolt, so or it could just be a small crack in the gasket that's a little bit leaking from. So I'm going to slide underneath there, check that, and then um, I'll bring you guys back to see what the culprit is. Okay, well guys, I'm going to run into the parts store real quick. Um, I just drained the antifreeze because I forgot that my oil, or my oil, my uh, water temperature sensor for the cluster uh, was broke. So I literally just drained it, getting ready to uh, put a new one in. It literally goes in between the spark plugs about right where my finger is. It just goes into the block and then uh, it reads off your water temperature and stuff. So uh, they have one in stock, so I'm gonna run in and grab it real quick. Um, I figured I'd give you guys a little update. Um, I went to go pull that out and it literally just, the plug that goes into the side of the block that actually reads it, shot out and I have no clue where it went. Um, I, I didn't hear it hit the ground, I was looking for it, I don't know if it's up here in this mess somewhere. So I'm going to run to the town real quick, grab this part, um, get it all put back together, get some antifreeze and water thrown back in it and then we should be good to go. So uh, I just want to give you guys an update, so uh, there's your update and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. I got a uh, peak 50-50 uh, mix antifreeze. Um, here's the part that's broke. Obviously the old one, the plug, and then it plugs in. Um, I got the new one here. This is what it looks like. So um, basically this screws into the side of the block. Um, it registers the uh, coolant temp and then sends it to your cluster. Where it plugs in at and where it screws in at I don't know how you guys will be able to see it, but if I can get it. So, if my camera will focus, let me try and move it up. Oh, there we go. Maybe. Come on, camera. Maybe, but anyway. Oh, it goes in right there. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. I don't know if there's just too much stuff around it. And then it plugs in to that adapter right there, that blue one. Um, just locks in to this part. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all hooked up, get my antifreeze put back in, get the mixture and everything, and then we should be good to go. I still don't know where that piece went. I was looking for it um, down in this jumbled up mess down in there. Um, looked on the floor, didn't see anything. So hard telling, but... uh. I'm gonna shut you guys off real quick, get that part thrown in, get the antifreeze mixed, and then hopefully we'll be good to go and be able to start it. 
and uh, check for leak. We got it all hooked up. It takes a three quarter. I just started it in with my hand and then once I got it tight enough, I took that three quarter and just spun it or whatever. I've um, got it nice and snug. Don't over tighten it because you over tighten it, you might mess up some of the threads causing a leak. But uh, now I'm just gonna kinda um, zip tie this up someplace. Uh, there's supposed to be a little clip. That little gray piece right there clips in someplace, but I'm not sure quite where it goes. So I'm just gonna zip tie it up and out of the way away from that header without getting that uh, wire nice and hot melting. And then I have to do this process all over again. So I got zip ties over here. Not quite sure where I wanna zip tie it yet. I don't know if I'm just gonna come straight up or if I'm just gonna hook it in over here someplace. Uh, I might tie it in to the actual one that I have here on the spark plug wires and then maybe once up here someplace. So I'm gonna probably figure that out. But uh, I'm gonna, after I get that zip tied, I'm gonna come back, get my 50 fixing, 50 50 mix, excuse me, for my antifreeze to get it poured in and we should be able to go. All right guys. So how I'm gonna end up mixing this uh, anti antifreeze 50 50 is I got that old jug. I'm basically just gonna take half of the new jug, dump it in there, and then fill the rest up with water, kind of stir it around a little bit, and then add half of that jug with water and kind of shake it. So then you get two gallons, 50-50 mix ratio. Um, pretty simple. I'm sure there's other ways. I've seen people take five gallon buckets, uh, dump, or get a gallon of distilled water, and then a gallon of antifreeze, dump them together, and then you get a funnel and dump a gallon back into there and then you get another gallon or dump it back into the distilled water um, I'm just gonna do it this way real quick so that's basically gonna be it I'm gonna take this water bottle make a homemade funnel um, just cut it off stick it down in there so that being said I'm gonna cut this off real quick uh, I got my razor blade here Like I said, I'm just gonna cut that off like I already did. Take this off. Stick it right in there. And then we're just gonna dump in like so. I'm going to turn it sideways so I can breathe better and pour a lot smoother like that instead of the gulp, 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 gulp ness that it was doing. So uh, Hold it up to the light, see about where we're at. Add a little bit more and then I'm going to go add water. There we go. And then I'm just gonna add water to them. Um, I spilled a little bit, so I'm gonna wipe that up real quick and then add water and then dump it into the radiator and there's your 50-50 mix. So we just got the 50-50 mix done. I got it added. We're not leaking anything. Um, I am having a turn signal issue. Uh, my LED strip is not working on that side. I bought a new one. I got to replace it on this side. I don't know if it's a fuse that went out or if I have just a short somewhere. I noticed my high beam isn't working on this side either, so I might pull that out, change the high beam, see if it changes anything, um, if, and then check the fuse. And then if it's not it, I'm going to take it to one of our local places here and have them look at it and uh, see if they can fix the problem. Well, um, that being said, that's basically going to be the vlog. Uh, I'm going to sweep out the inside a little bit. Uh, shut the hood, make sure I don't have any leaks, and we should be good to go. Uh, but before we end the vlog, guys, um, I hope you guys just kind of like that little random vlog. Just didn't have much to film today. Figured I uh, might as well pull the uh, truck into the shop, talk about the deer blind tree stand I'm going to be building, um, do some maintenance on the truck or whatnot, and uh, yeah. But I want to thank you guys again for getting me almost to the 4,100 subscriber mark. Like, to keep the channel going. Um, I do have sunglasses and stuff being made. It's got the saying, learning as I do, doing what I love, the saying of the channel. 
I also got bracelets. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go do it now. I'll leave a link down in the description and then it'll be right through here somewhere. But I put a picture up of the bracelets and the sunglasses probably two months ago when they first came out. Um, I've been talking to a subscriber that lives close to me about doing decals and getting t-shirts made. Um, as far as build plans and stuff for the channel go, I 79 build is still going on. It's I got a bunch of front end parts coming in for it, hopefully in the middle of this week. Um, lift kit's on it, motor and cam and everything should be going back in it. Train should be going back in it. Um, we're just getting everything wrapped up on it. Wheels and tires will be going on it here soon too. Um, as far as the 98 goes, um, this video is just kind of a check fluids and stuff, make sure everything's good to go. Um, probably be doing a cow hood here soon. Got the new bed. I'm going to get sandblasted. Um, I'm going to coat it with a rust preventative so I don't have to worry about any of that. And we're going to get painted and hopefully this winter we'll be doing body work on it and stuff, making it look good again. Um, my sister's looking at buying a Jeep. We might be doing a build on it, like a small block Chevy, uh, 350 dropping it in there, like a turbo 300 trainee and stuff like that uh, over the winter doing the body work on it. Um, like I said before, I'm probably gonna do some hunting videos. If you guys would like to see those, uh, just let me know down in the comments. I do live on a farm, so we have tractors and equipment I could do videos on. Um, I could do shooting videos. I could do basically anything you guys wanted, as long as it's vehicle related, um, farm related, guns related, I have it, we have dirt bikes, we have four wheelers, we could do riding videos and stuff like that. Just let me know down in the comments. Um, I want to thank you guys again for 40, almost 4,100 subscribers. I think once we hit the 5,000 mark, uh, we'll be doing a 50 inch, or a, yeah, 52 inch curved light bar giveaway. Might throw some pods in with it, throw a set of sunglasses in with it, throw a bracelet in it, throw a t-shirt in it. Just one big bundle giveaway. Um, that's if we hit the 5,000 subscriber mark and it, that's if we start getting merch made so you guys can buy it probably like every $10 spent or something you get one entry so um, I'll keep you guys up to date on the giveaway um, like I said I gotta get some merch lined up get it launched and stuff like that but uh, I want to thank you guys again I hope you guys enjoyed this little random vlog today and I'll see you guys in the next video peace